Imagine a cozy nest nestled high upon a rugged cliff, where two bird siblings dwell. The older one, who struts around with authority, while the younger one is more timid and content to let the older one lead. One day, researchers decided to shake things up by introducing these siblings to some other birds who had never experienced sibling rivalry. Initially, the older bird became even more dominant, while the younger one gained a bit of confidence. However, as time passed, a surprising shift occurred. Things began to change in the nest. The older bird, once so confident, started losing fights with these newcomers. Its dominance began to fade. Meanwhile, the younger bird, who used to be shy, started to gain confidence and thrive. It became more assertive, finding its own place in the nest. The researchers were amazed at how quickly things had shifted. And this shift in the bird's behavior sparked a new era in research and neuroscience, focusing on what came to be known as the winner and loser effect. Studies began to explore how winning or losing in competitive situations could influence not only behavior, but also physiological responses in the body, such as changes in hormone levels. Researchers investigated how the brain's reward system responded to success and failure, shedding light on the complex interplay between biology, psychology, and behavior. Today at the Nerds Club, we will be discussing the mind-blowing winner effect, which can change the way you think, behave, and achieve goals. But here's the kicker. We're not just here to chat about theories. We're here to arm you with something so powerful, something that might challenge your traditional beliefs, but will undoubtedly take your game to the next level. Ready? Let's get started. Ever wondered why winning or losing by a, a tiny margin in a tennis match can have a big impact on the next set? Well, researchers have the answer. They dug deep into tennis matches and found something fascinating. When players win a set by just a hair, like clinching it by two points in a nail-biting tiebreaker, it sets the stage for what happens next. If a player narrowly wins the first set, they've got a whopping 60% chance of taking the next set. But if they narrowly lose, their chances drop to 40%. What does this mean? It suggests that the outcome of a closely contested set messes with players' heads in a big way. It gets into their minds, messes with their confidence, and can either propel them to victory or send them spiraling downwards. It's like a psychological roller coaster that can make or break a match. Crazy, right? But wait, it's not just tennis where the winner effect reigns supreme. Take basketball, for example. Ever heard of the hot hand effect? It's when players go on a scoring spree and seem unstoppable. Well, turns out success breeds success in basketball too. Players who score points are more likely to keep the streak alive, defying the odds and showing just how powerful the winner effect can be. Now, let's get nerdy for a sec and talk about the brain. You see, winning isn't just about skill. It's also about biology. One of the key components of the winner effect is the role of testosterone a hormone associated with dominance, confidence, and aggression. Winning a competition typically leads to an increase in testosterone levels, which can have a number of effects on the brain and behavior. These effects include increased motivation, improved focus, and enhanced risk-taking behavior, all of which can contribute to further success. The winner effect also involves changes in the brain's reward system, particularly the release of dopamine a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward. Winning triggers the release of dopamine, reinforcing the behavior and making it more likely to be repeated in the future. However, it's important to note that the winner effect is not always positive. In some cases, it can lead to overconfidence, aggression, and risky behavior. Now, let's discuss the most crucial topic of this video, how to hack your brain to activate the winner effect for you. Wait, I'm not going to tell you all the traditional bluff you have heard till now like set clear goals, get winning mindset, and blah, blah, blah. I am talking about the real deal here. So, the first rule of activating the winner effect is to embrace discomfort. Yep, you heard that right. Success doesn't come from staying cozy in your comfort zone. It's about pushing past your limits, facing challenges head on, 
and embracing the discomfort that comes with growth. All right, let's unpack that with the next rule. Engineer close winds. Imagine you're in a scenario straight out of the African savanna. You're a deer being stalked by a cheetah, the fastest land animal on earth. Now, instinct might tell you to bolt at the first sight of danger. After all, that cheetah means business. But if you just ran away, you've already created a narrative against you. The cheetah is more determined, more agile, and it's just a matter of time before it chases you down. In this moment, the winner effect demands something different. It's about shifting the odds in your favor, even in the face of imminent danger. Instead of succumbing to panic, what if you took a calculated risk? What if you stood your ground, waited for the perfect moment, and then made your move? When the cheetah launches its first attack and you narrowly escape, something incredible happens. The momentum shifts. Suddenly, you're not just prey, you're a contender. You've defied the odds, outsmarted the predator, and now winning the next battle becomes more likely. See, the winner effect isn't just about making big, flashy moves. It's about seizing those make or break moments and coming out on top. It's about being strategic, being patient, and being the smartest person in the room. So the next time you're faced with a cheetah-sized challenge, remember, sometimes the best way to win is to engineer a close victory. It might be risky, but the rewards, well, they speak for themselves. Now, imagine this. You're standing at a crossroads, faced with a decision that could change the course of your life. On one path lies the tried and true route, the well-worn path that society tells you is the right way to success. On the other path, there's uncertainty, risk, and the possibility of failure. Now, conventional wisdom would have you choose the safe path. Stick to what you know, follow the rules, and don't rock the boat. But here's the thing. Conventional wisdom isn't always the wisest choice. The winner effect thrives on innovation, on daring to challenge the status quo, and explore uncharted territory. It's about breaking free from the constraints of tradition and forging your own path towards success. So, dare to be different, dare to take risks, dare to challenge the established norms and blaze a trail of your own. Because sometimes the most extraordinary journeys begin with a single step outside the comfort zone. Remember the greatest achievements in history were made by those who dared to defy convention. So, the next time you find yourself at a crossroads, ask yourself, will you follow the beaten path or will you forge a new trail? The choice is yours. So, go forth with confidence, courage, and conviction. The world is waiting for you to unleash your greatness. And with the winner effect by your side, there's no limit to what you can achieve. Here's to your success. May it be as boundless as your imagination and as limitless as your dreams. And if you find something disturbing along the way, we are here. Of course, at the Nerds Club. <laughs>